What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Lab. After 4 long weeks, we are finally in the final week of the Metaverse Champions event. And this is probably the last MVP video of this event this year. I am gonna show you the games I played to get the MVP crate launcher. I am gonna support AJ Striker this time around. But before we move on, I would really appreciate it if you can smash that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell and like this video to support the channel. The first game I'm gonna play is Treasure Quest. Skip the tutorial. Once you're in the game, click play. Choose Monolith Boss. Make sure the difficulty is medium, which is the lowest. Game mode classic and privacy can be public or private. I'm gonna solo, so I'm gonna choose private. Set it to public if you want others to help you. Now head into this building here and take out the boss. It's not difficult. You can see from my level that this is the first time I'm playing this game. I am using the default weapon and I'm soloing the boss. You can also play with others if you want, but the boss is really easy. You have 4 lives, so it is okay if you die a few times. Once you take out the boss, you will get a badge. The second game is Blocks Royal. Once you're in the game, click on the AJ Striker chest icon. You will be teleported to a modern setting. Speak to AJ Striker. He will tell you to beat the boss at wave 5. Head to a shuttle to start or join a game. You might want to join others for this game. It is not exactly difficult, but more people can hasten the process. Once the game starts, put down units to attack. If this is the first time you are playing the game, you won't have good units. Put down AJ Striker. Put down these houses. It can spawn noobs to help you. You can put whatever you want for the rest of the game. Try not to let the bar at the top fill up. That's because if it fills up, it means you're not actively putting down units. Once you reach wave 5, the boss will spawn. Beat the boss to get the badge. Okay, got the badge. The game will still continue after you got the badge, but most people will leave. The third game is Zombie Task Force. Once you enter the game, it will tell you how to get the badge. You need to complete the story mode for Urban Falls and East Bay Port. These are actually the first and second stage of the game respectively. Close this notification and claim the daily. Hit play. You can join others or create a squad yourself. The beginning. Urban falls. Choose story. Public. And easy. You definitely want to play with others, but it is not too difficult. Start the game.
follow the instructions and complete the first two stages to get the badge. This is gate 1. Zombies will come from the burning bus across this bridge. Once you clear the zombies, hit to the truck. Protect the truck and kill the zombies. If you can't find a truck, just go in the direction where the zombies are. Don't worry, the truck has a lot of health on easy mode. You need to protect gate 2 now, but don't go to gate 2, head back to gate 1. The zombies will spawn at the bridge where it started earlier on. Gate 1 hasn't been breached, so gate 2 is fine. Clear all the zombies. Head to gate 2 now. The explosion is behind gate 2. Clear the zombies and go near the explosion site. Clear any remaining zombie and go back to gate 1 quickly. There will be a horde of zombies with a boss. Don't panic if gate 1 is breached, you are far from losing. Other than having higher health, the boss can shoot you with a gun. Don't worry if you die, your teammates can revive you, and that is why it is very disadvantaged to play alone. Once you kill the boss, you will clear this chapter. Close this pop-up notification again. Start another round on East Bay Port. Story, public, easy. Start. Zombies will spawn behind the doors and behind these two doorways here. Clear the zombies. A cutscene will play. Go to the warehouse. Clear the zombies along the way. Now follow me to where I go. Touch this metal roller shuttle. Head to the other side of the metal roller shuttle to clear the zombie. A cutscene will play. Follow that zombie icon with green borders. Clear the zombies along the way. Touch the burning containers. Kill all the burning zombies. Now shoot down the helicopter. Go back to the roller shutter and clear all the zombies there. You will get a badge when you are done. But don't leave the game yet. Let it bring you back to the main menu. The notification will pop up again. Claim your AJ Striker skin. You can leave the game now. The next game is Ragdoll Mania. There is a little grinding here, but I will tell you where to grind. Teleport to the event area first. You need to get 10 shards. The first one is up on these pillars. Jump down and there is a shard just beside the pillars. Use these two cannons and you can find another two shots. A shot beside this teleporter here. One behind a spinner. One on top of this platform here. Let me just turn around and show you where I am. Hit up the rock and you will find another one. Use the teleporter. There is another shot.
Last one is near the entrance here. After you find all 10 shots, hit to this spinner. Just get hit by it over and over again. It breaks bones easily and earn money quickly. You will probably fulfill the bone breaking requirement first. Continue here until you have $1,500. You can also claim your achievements for a couple hundred of dollars. Once you have $1,500, buy the ability to punch. Press 2 to punch on PC. Punch other players 15 times. Now that you completed all the quests, the game will prompt you to claim the chest. Manually claim the chest and you will get a badge. You can also play Obby Run, easy Obby game. Speak to AJ Striker when you are in the game, you need to get 20 gems to get a badge. Hit up the pole and start the Obby. Get a first gem. This Obby is actually a race. When you clear a section and step on the checkpoint, you will get one gem. When somebody clears the Obby and reaches the finish line, a countdown will start. As more people reach the finish line, the countdown will speed up. If you are the first player to reach the end, or you reach the end before the countdown reaches the zero, you will get 5 gems. If you fail to reach the end point, the race will just restart. So even if you are bad at Obby's and can't get to the end point every time, just clear 20 sections to get the badge. There are a lot of checkpoints too, so it is fairly easy. The badge is awarded to you automatically when you get 20 gems. Another game you can play is Tower Defense Simulator. It is quite fast to clear, probably take you a few minutes, that's all. Claim the daily login reward. Speak to AJ Striker. Click yes, you will start the game immediately. Just follow my placement and you'll be fine. Hit to this U-shaped area here. Put down 3 scouts. Upgrade them once. You can choose to skip the wave or not. I skip the wave to speed up the process. Put down this mini gunner here and upgrade him once. I put a rocket here. But you can choose what you want to put from here on. Or maybe just spend money on upgrades. Just spend all your money. Fei Yoshida will spawn in the last wave with two very tanky zombies. Just do as much damage to them as possible. Fei Yoshida will probably leak past your towers. Sell all the towers that can no longer reach Fei Yoshida and put down another mini gunner. Upgrade if you are able to. Fei Yoshida will be left with a little health, which will not deplete all your health. So don't worry, you will still get a badge even if you didn't take down Fei Yoshida. You will get a badge as long as you win the round. You can play War Simulator 2. Very easy and you can clear it quickly. You just need to kill 15 of these great soldiers here to get the chest. Really easy. In fact, you don't need to purchase any of the upgrades and you will still be able to clear it. Enemies don't hit hard and they are pretty bad at accuracy. Head over to this green barrel here and you can start to eliminate the red soldiers. Anywhere before this green barrel here is a safe zone.
I am gonna buy an upgrade to speed up the process, but you don't have to do it if you don't want to. There we go, I got the AJ Strikers badge. The last game is Unboxing Simulator. You don't need any skills to play this game. Click Start. Choose your head or hair, whichever one will do. Once you're in the game, talk to AJ Striker. He will ask you to unbox 100 boxes, and that is all you have to do. Really no skills required. Your damage may be very low at the start. I recommend that you target the small boxes. You will get new items and more money as you unbox the boxes. Equip the items and use the money to buy the first weapon when you are able to. This will speed up the process a lot. You will be able to one-shot a small box very quickly and this will speed up the entire process. I also recommend that you unlock the first gate if you are able to. This will allow you to enchant items to level them up so that you can deal higher damage to the boxes. Another reason why you want to enchant is to clear the inventory space when it is full. One hundred boxes sounds like it is a lot of work, but it doesn't take too long. Once you open 100 boxes, you will need to claim the chest manually. Click claim on the side menu to claim the chest and the badge. So that's it for today's video. These are the 8 games that I played to get the MVP crate launcher for the final week of Metaverse Champions event. If you are just looking to clear the weekly requirements and get 4 chests, you can check out the video where I created 4 easiest game in week 4, one for each champion. I will leave the link in the description below. The next Metaverse Champions video should be on the prizes of the entire event. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to turn on that notification bell. Bye!